Hi, Shanny Fannies. Welcome to Educating Shanny. I'm Shanny and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi, Shanny. Hi. Okay, guys, so I'm still taking a break from YouTube. A lot of you have noticed that I haven't been posting videos for the past few weeks. That's because a lot of um, personal health and mental health and other problems that have consumed my life have come up and I will explain everything when I come back, whenever that is. But I just wanna make sure that I'm fully ready to come back before I actually do that. But I just wanna make a really quick video about Eugenia Cooney and I hope she can see this. Eugenia, if you're watching, I've made a couple videos for you before, not a lot, but I just wanted you to know that I'm so proud of you. For those of you that don't know, Eugenia made a post on Twitter today saying that she basically that she was getting help for her eating disorder she didn't say it was for her eating disorder but it's obvious that it is and I have to tell you I am beyond proud of her I wish I had her strength I wish that I mean I wish nothing but happiness for her and this is so exciting to me that she has millions of people watching her that are going to rally behind her and support her and if you're one of those please continue to do that that's what she needs right now she needs love support and encouragement she doesn't need any criticism just like i said on my other videos about her um even before she admitted or tried to get help i was saying that it's never okay to uh be mean to people about especially in this situation um all we can do for her is love her, encourage her, pray for her if you pray. I pray, but I know some people don't and that's okay. So send good vibes, whatever it is that you believe in, send it her way. And I'm very excited for her. Like this is going to be huge for her. This is gonna be huge for her life. Her, her viewers are gonna be so affected by this in such a positive way and I'm so excited about it. We always hear how so many young girls out there feel triggered by watching her and they want to be like her and they want to be as skinny as her. Now they get to watch her and be like, oh my gosh, I want to recover like she did. And so they will and they'll tell their parents and they'll get help. Like what an amazing thing she doesn't realize yet and she will someday, she's going to look back and she's going to be like, holy crap, I had no idea that I had that big of an impact on other people, especially young girls and some boys out there. And so I'm just really proud of her. She's so brave and this is going to take her a really long time to get over guys. Like her condition I feel, I feel is, and I'm not a doctor by the way, but I feel it's so severe that this might take her years to recover, years and years, um, because your body just is so, so gone at the point that she is that, you know, it's not just as easy as like stuffing a cheeseburger in her face. Like she might not even be able to eat for a little bit. Like these things take time when, when an eating disorder or your weight gets that dangerously low. Um, it's gonna take a long time to heal her body and to get her body into eating and digesting again. So she's gonna need all the love and prayers and support that you guys can give her. So please continue to do that. And if any of you guys are struggling, if you're a viewer of Eugenia, or if you're Eugenia and you happen to be watching, holy crap, I'm fangirling if you are, what the crap, that's so crazy to me. But if any of you are struggling, um, just know that you're not alone. I created a community on here and on Instagram, an eating disorder community, and, and um, people have been following me through my eating disorder recovery for years, and I'm still not fully recovered either, but I'm getting there, and I've come a really long way, and I can tell you that I don't think I would have been able to do it without the support of the internet, so I'm super grateful, and I, you know, I have like little me with little 90,000 subscribers, and she's got like a million or two million subscribers like she's got so much support and so I'm so excited for her because I know what it feels like to have the support of thousands of people and she's got the support of millions so that just makes me so excited for her it makes me so excited for the eating disorder community to see that someone if it's like if she can do it I can do it like you know I'm still not fully recovered and so I'm thinking to myself when I read this today like I almost cried when I when I heard that she had said this I was like, holy smokes, if this girl who is a day away from death probably, if she can be brave enough to get better, then I can do it too. If she can be strong enough to fight through and to change her body chemistry back to where it's supposed to be, then I can do it too. Like she 
is helping so many people that she doesn't even know. She doesn't even know exists. Like there's so many people out there. So take this for what it is. Take this as motivation. Take this as, oh my gosh, yeah, if you're one of those young people out there that were like, oh my gosh, I wanna be as skinny as Eugenia Cooney. Now you can look at her or yourself or whoever and be like, oh my gosh, now I wanna get better like Eugenia is doing. And then eventually once you start to get better, you're gonna be like, wait, I wanna get better for me not for Eugenia, not for my family, not for anybody but me, because that's what will get you better all the way, is when you decide that you're ready for it for yourself, that is when full recovery will happen, and that's why full recovery has not happened for me yet. However, I'm feeling very hopeful. I've been going through a lot these past few weeks, and I've had a lot of support on Instagram, and I'm so grateful for that. Uh, please don't get mad at that, by the way. You're welcome to come join anytime, and even if you can't, join Instagram, don't be mad. Just look at it as, oh, at least she's talking to somebody. I know she's not on YouTube, but at least she's talking to somebody about her problems and she's at least venting it and getting it out so it's not eating her up inside, so to speak. Um, so so um, anyway, so I'm just really grateful for that, but it's possible, guys, and I'm just really proud of you. So Eugenia, if you're watching, my dear, oh my gosh, what if you're watching? I would cry. I would probably throw up. Not like bulimia throw up, but like throw up on your shoe type, like when you're really nervous and you've got like the sour acid in your tummy and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna throw up. And then you throw up and it like projectile vomits across the room and lands on the floor and squirts everywhere and it smells like battery acid. Anyway, Eugenia, if you're watching my dear, hi, I'm Shani. I have an eating disorder. I have suffered with most eating disorders, but my main ones have always been bulimia and then anorexia. Uh, I've had eating disorders since I was five years old, um, which is crazy, I know, to think about, but it's true, and it happens more often than people realize. And I started this YouTube channel to try and spread awareness about eating disorders and tell people what I've lost because of my eating disorders and try to warn them, like I lost the ability to have children Yay, the only thing I ever wanted to do with my life. Lost the ability to do that. I lost my health. I lost relationships. I lost my teeth. Just gonna let that sink in for you for a minute. But you don't have to lose that stuff, guys. Please take it seriously. If you're struggling with an eating disorder, please get help. Please, please, please. If you are the type that needs to go into inpatient treatment, do it. If you're the type that would benefit more from just therapy and medications, do it. If you're the, the type that feels you can, you can heal fully through God, which I believe is possible, then do it. Um, do not let it get this bad as it is for me and don't let it get as bad as it was for Eugenia. Um, and Eugenia, I'm just so proud of you. This is huge for you. You're gonna have so much love and support. You already have it from me. You have it from my entire community. We have a really big community of people struggling with this from around the world that come together and support each other and amazing friendships have been built, built and other communities have come out of it. And I'm just so proud to be a part of this community that I created years ago and to see it spread like it is. And I believe that anybody, as long as you have enough, enough faith, whatever that means for you, and support and love, and even if you don't have those things, I still believe it's possible to recover. And you have proven today that it is possible just by trying. Um, it makes me so happy. If you're seeing a doctor, you said you're seeing a doctor. If you're seeing a doctor, then I know that you're okay right now because I know that no doctor would let you go home um, after seeing you like this. And so I just want to tell you that that's so brave of you because I know this must be scary for you. Like this must be hella scary for you. I cannot imagine what you're going through. I cannot imagine how you're feeling inside. I've always been stuck up for you on the internet because I'm so sick of people telling you that you should go kill yourself because you're setting a bad example or people would be better off without you or you're just a waste of space and or you're just you're ruining 
children and you're murdering children around the world because of the example you're setting or whatever. I think it's really unfair that people have said those things to you for so long. However, the comments that are about love and support, those are real. Try and listen to those. Try and listen. Believe those people that are saying, hey, if you go get help, which you are now, you're going to have all of our support, like more support than before. Even if you're gonna look at it from a business point, even your channel's gonna grow even more because everyone's gonna wanna come and watch you get better and see that it's actually possible. You might be the answer for so many people. No pressure or anything. <laughs> Just realized that mid-sentence and I can't edit this, so you're welcome. Um, but no, you are. You have a huge impact on a lot of people, so just make sure you're take care, taking care of yourself first. Take as long as you need. If we don't see you for a year, fine. Five years, a month, a week, I don't care when we see you again, as long as you're getting the help. And it sounds like you are. So you take whatever time you need, you figure this out, know that you are very loved by millions of people around the world, and the ones that hate on you, that's on them. And I think you've probably learned by now to let that stuff go and realize that those people are probably struggling with their own things. and. At the same time though, I get what it feels like. I can't imagine on your scale because I have like a tenth of your subscribers and like the mean comments are hard. It took me a long time to get over them. So, um, and sometimes they're still hard. So try your best to not listen to those and just listen to the people encouraging you or just don't read comments at all and just know, just put it in your mind. Just trust me that you have so much support and I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited to see where this goes. I'm so excited to see you live. I'm so excited to see the good, all the good things that you're gonna be able to do with your life because you're gonna have more energy and you're gonna feel happier and safer and healthier and you're just gonna, this is just, this is your time to shine, girl. And I'm so proud and I'm so grateful to be watching it. So, and again, even if I'm not watching it, if you don't post anything, that's okay. Just knowing that you're out there getting help is like, I can just tell you that, you know, every day, I pick a different inspiration in my life to keep going and I can tell you that today and probably for a really long time you are going to be my top inspiration. So I'm so proud of you. I love you so much. If any else out there is struggling and looking for a huge community full of eating disordered souls and self-harm and mental illness and all that stuff, um, you should subscribe. Not because I want another subscriber, but because you can make friends in my comment section. You can come and watch me on Instagram. I do a live stream every single night, educating underscore Shani. And um, it's a really cool community, and I love it. And, and I do weird videos too. I burp a lot. I sing about poop a lot because I might as well joke about my problems and I've got major pooping problems. So, yeah, so we have a lot of fun around here. So come and join. And... That would be great. Leave me a comment below. Let me know your story if you want to share it. And I guarantee you'll find support in the comments. It's amazing. So anyway, okay, I've talked long enough. I love you so much, Eugenia. I'm so freaking proud of you. And I love everyone else out there who's struggling with an eating disorder or anything else mental health related. I feel you. And you can get through it. Um, be patient with yourself. It takes a lot of time and patience, but I know you can get through it. And I know Eugenia is gonna like just rock this world and she's gonna come back and be like, guys, <laughs> I'm a rock star because I literally just turned my entire life around. You think that's easy? Oh no, beach. That's hard. And I did it. So you've got this girl. I love you. I love the rest of you. And like I say at the end of all my videos, you are beautiful, you are worth it and I am too, and I will see you guys soon. I love you guys, bye.